All right guys, for right now I'm modifying the throttle cable. So I had um, an old, the old throttle cable that was cut that came with my D16Y8. And I basically measured it out to see how long I needed. Um, Cause the D16A6 one actually is a little too short. So instead of buying a brand new cable, I decided to take this cable apart and, and, and kind of modify it so that it fits. So you're going to have to cut off quite a bit of material. So I've, I've marked my material here, I believe. And then mark up a little bit more, but basically you just stretch out the cable, uh, make sure it's straight and you mark it off right where you, you need to fit this cable into. So, that's where I need to cut off. So how I'm gonna cut this off is probably with a hacksaw or something. You don't wanna cut through the whole cable. Um, and then you're probably, I'm probably gonna use some side, side cutters and snip away at it to get it all out or uncoil it somehow. Um, very similar to bicycle cables. Um, so there's basically a coil piece in here. It coils all the way around and the best way to get this out is by basically sniffing it around there. Let's get like a hacksaw of some sort and kind of cut around it. You want to be careful and not cut through, because uh, if you cut through the wire, you're kind of hooked. You're gonna need a new cable. It'd actually be easier to use the Dremel or something. I'm gonna get out my rotary tool and have a go at it. So, now we're going to set up, get some goggles. Alright. So, those screws.
All right, so after you've cut, oh, let's focus. After you've cut that wire off with your, your rotary tool, this is what it comes up with. The rest of this, if to resize it up, it's just rubber. So you just use X-Acto blade and, and cut it up. Um, I'm just gonna finish up here and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. All right, so after you've modified it, it fits perfectly. So just make sure you follow the the kind of same length as the original. Um, I'm not sure how much to tell you to cut off, but it's it was quite a bit, probably about two inches or so. But uh, I mean, yeah, that's how how you would modify your throttle cable to make sure it fits into a D16Y8. All right, so here's another little thing. Um, so the Field return line for the D16Y8 is um, much smaller than the field return line on the D16A6. Um, the, the little metal pipe there is actually bigger in the D16A6 than it is on here. One thing you could do is you could swap the fuel pressure regulator for one, but then you'll have to replace the O-ring inside and all that and pulling that apart. Um, what I did was um, it had a cut fuel um, line for the D16Y8, I just squeezed it into the um, D16A6 fuel line, return line, and used one of these little clamps and clamped them down. Um, and then that should work. There should be, uh, there should be enough room in there for the fuel to return. And, and I tucked it in deep enough where it won't undo itself. So, Hopefully it's not really pinched or anything and closing the hole, which causes really no fuel return. But um, I don't think that's the case. Um, but that's another way of getting around this. Or one other way is to get a longer hose and um, a adjustable clamp and clamping it down onto here. Um, but I did this way and let's see, how, let's see how it goes once I fire it up or anything. Anyways, um, thanks for watching guys uh, and I'll see you in the next video.